Yes. Okay. These guys right here, I know this for a fact because when I took mine apart, this whole thing, this whole thing, I, I it came off. Okay. Hmm. Um. These forks right here. There's three of them. There's one here. It's like uh, they're evenly spaced around the circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is what if you if you look straight in from the top, they're in neutral right now, mm -hmm. and they rest on uh, the, the, this ring around the shaft. That's an with an indent on it. Mm -hmm. You can see the indent right. Right there, the screwdriver sitting inside the indent. Uh -huh, right here. See. And you see the way they're sitting right now? Yeah. That's that's neutral. Now here is the click that you feel when you go into forward. The, see the little fingers there? There's the one here. This one here. Mm -hmm. There's one down here, and then there's mm -hmm. one over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go into forward, you feel that click? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you can see down in here, the end of the finger has popped into that indent on that sleeve. Oh, yes, it did. You see it? It did, yeah. Okay. You are now in forward. That is the telltale of whether or not your forward is um, adjusted correctly. If you, because it, it, if you don't feel that set, that click, okay, your forward's not adjusted correctly. All right, so now, now we're back in neutral. Notice the end of the finger down there is sitting just outside that groove mm -hmm. on, the, on the sleeve, okay? So now we're in neutral. The whole shaft will turn, mm -hmm. okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into reverse. So now watch this spring area up here. This spring, this assembly here connects to the sleeve right here that goes around the drum for the um, pressure plates okay so now as we go into reverse see it going shut what's happening is okay see the action here on this yoke right here this right here pulling back on this yoke opens this guy actually opens this up to where it squeezes this together watch the spring see it now it's squeezed right so now what happens is that spring is what keeps the sleeve around the pressure plate drum mm -hmm. okay this spring when you're out of it keeps the these this pressure plates here these this sleeve away from the drum because this drum's spinning, because it's connected straight to the drive shaft. Mm -hmm. So once the spring pulls in, it has friction with that drum, and it will pick up some power. And it holds the drum right. in place. Okay. This should sound like um, a, oh. almost like a grinding of gears, but yes. not quite. Right. It's kind of a rough raggedy sound, low, rough, raggedy sound. That's, that's kind of why like, I put it forward, forward. there's no sound. There's no sound. There's no put, sound. put it reverse, Right. something jammed jam sound. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because there's it's supposed to. Because what's happening is it's closing this band right here right. around your pr pressure plate drum. Mm -hmm. Which, exactly. and at the same time, there's gears in the backside over here that come in and change position, okay? And that position, by those gears changing position, that's what causes every the whole assembly, okay? Mm. It causes the the shaft to rotate in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay. So to adjust this, if you don't, if you have, if you have trouble with the reverse staying in reverse. Okay, that means that you need to adjust the tension on this. Mm -hmm. Make it okay. tighter. Make it tighter. Okay, so you put it in neutral. Okay, which is right there, and you can tell neutral without going into forward, because all you have to do is look at your fingers, and they're going to be just on the outside of 
this sleeve indent right there. That's where the fingers, the fingers when you go into forward they ride right here in this sleeve indent. Mm -hmm. I'll do it again. There. Okay. I don't know if you can see it or not. I, but, I can't see it. Okay. And there, all three fingers come in and they grab that sleeve and away you go. Okay. This is getting really beat up. Mm -hmm. But you can just get some gasket material yeah. and put on that. <laughs> so, all right, now adjustment wise, if you're going to tighten this thing, okay, let's say you're not staying in reverse correctly, okay, what you have to do is you have to loosen this nut and bolt just a bit because that's what holds this in place. And then you take, like, um, excuse me here, just uh, get me the angled guy right over there. This one? Is that a hook? Yeah. Yeah. You take something like this. Captain Hook. <laughs> and you put in like such. But you get something oh. to go in these holes. And then you literally tighten that down. Mm -hmm. Say one, one quarter turn. It mm -hmm. doesn't take much adjustment. And it does a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if, it's, or if it's like it's like too tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Loose the, the opposite is true. You just loosen it up a little bit. Loosen it up a little bit. Like push a quarter the screen, turn. And then turn and it. lock it back in place. And the only way to test your um, adjustment ah. is to turn the motor on and see if we stay in reverse or we stay in forward. Mm. Okay? So it's a very uh, laborious process. Mm -hmm. Time consuming for sure. It's not hard. It's just time consuming. Awesome. Because it's adjust... See how it works, adjust, see how it works. Okay, now for the forward, what you have, you see that, see this little dog ear right here? Little, little, mm -hmm. little ear thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's three of these. On top of On this, clock. this whole mechanism right here. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I broke mine off. Oh. Okay. I ordered another plate from Torrance and I got the plate in mm -hmm. and when I saw the plate I noticed that on their plate they had screw holes in two of these guys mm -hmm. okay mine on mine my screw hole broke the edge of it right here mm -hmm. it just it broke so the screw wouldn't hold mm -hmm. the set screw okay all right so now what you have to do Again, is by putting it in neutral. I want that down here. Yes, sorry, I don't want to get rid of it because I'm going to use it. Because, mm -hmm. okay. like I said, there's no real pressure against here because it's all what oil comes up in here. It's a splash up effect because of the crankcase or because of the crank that's running in the pool of oil. There's no real pressure right here. Mm -hmm. Hammer. Hammer? It was here. Remember, this is all cast iron, so it doesn't like big shock marks. Because mm -hmm. it will break on you. And you have no idea how much pressure you put if it's too much until it breaks. And you, you, you now know it's too much. But it's a little too late. Because it's broke. Yeah. The school, right? Okay. Now, what happens? Okay. Let's so let's say that you're not engaging and staying in. You don't feel the good solid click. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means that you've got wear on your pressure plates, mm -hmm. or whoever was in here is just flat out of adjustment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Point is, is it's still not going forward. Okay, now you'll see down here underneath this set screw, mm -hmm. see these teeth? Yes. That's what the set screw locks into. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
So what you do is, is if your forward starts seeming to be sloppy and it doesn't want to stay in gear, mm -hmm. okay, you come in here, you loosen, you put it in neutral, get this guy up to the top, you loosen this, mm -hmm. you don't need to take it all the way out, but you loosen the set screw up enough to where you can turn this band, okay, mm -hmm. and then you turn the band clockwise one click at a time. If you, most, at most, you'll do two. And that's a lot of adjustment because what you're doing is by turning it clockwise you're forcing this pressure plate in okay you turn it counterclockwise this pressure plate will release pressure on your friction pads okay okay so if you have if so if it's if it's too hard to put into forward and it just won't set okay that tells you that this is too tight okay so you release the set screw and then you just turn this whole mechanism here you back it off one or two clicks okay then what will happen is because it is what directs the amount of pressure needed to set your sleeve right here okay so right now we need to release it since it's... Well, now let's let's say what the... What is the problem again? It's too hard to put it forward. To put it forward. And mm -hmm. uh, lose it from forward. Mm -hmm. Gear in. Alright, so now out. what it's time for me to do is go up and see what that feels like. Because mm -hmm. might, you might be set normal. Because mm -hmm. okay. it wants to be a little bit... Uh, the, you need to put a little bit of pressure to get it in forward right. so that it locks in gear it locks into that um, nothing yeah the the um indent on the the sleeve mm -hmm. your fingers do. Right. okay all right that's, so let me go up that. above mm -hmm. okay and see what it feels like going into gear because ours was the same damn way man it, it, mm -hmm. when i adjust when i adjust readjusted it the first time it was like it was back and forth back and forth because i adjusted it too tight Mm -hmm. Okay, and when I went to go into first gear, I did, it wasn't going. It just didn't go. Mm -hmm. So I had the plate way too far in. So I had to back the plate way off, get it real loose, mm -hmm. then come back in and adjust it to the right position. Mm 